Salaki Akin, you got fucking uh, Satan just trying to hinder the lesson, man. So I had to do a part two, you know. But um, we're going to, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim so I'm going to get this lesson uploaded, man. You know, I got ads that just pop up on my phone out of nowhere when Jake's trying to do a lesson. You know what I'm saying? It just, you know, like the scriptures tell you, being buffeted by Satan, man. You know, that, that shit's irritating. But anyway, um, as I was saying, you know, we're we not in our own land, man. We in the land of our enemies. We, you know, like the scriptures tell you, I wanted to get, um... A couple of more scriptures about that, or maybe one more scripture about us being uh, not amongst our own. Um, we ain't in our land, man. No. One more scripture hinting on how we ain't in our land. Hey, because them goddamn devils is in our land dwelling in it, dragging our name through the mud again, like High Priest R. Y'all said, man. You know, you, you fucking devils, man. Y'all ain't shit. You so called Jewish, you a Malachite. You know, especially y'all, y'all dragging our name through the mud because y'all calling yourselves the Jews and y'all doing all of these filthy and wicked acts that we would never do. That have nothing in Salaki to do with our customs. You know what I'm saying? The real Jews are in poverty as well. Y'all are are, are 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 some of the wealthiest people on the earth right now, man. You know, so um, let's see uh. This is, um, this is Ezekiel 35, and, um, verse 12, and thou, I'm going to start at verse 11, therefore as I live, saith Yahweh power, I will even do according to thine anger, and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. You know what I'm saying? And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh by Shem Yahushat, and that I have heard all thy blasphemies which thou hast spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They are laid desolate, they are given to us to consume. And that's what y'all say, man, while y'all over there in our land, defiling it, man, you fucking rats. You know what I'm saying? You know? The scriptures tell you, uh, I'm going to read on. Verse 13, thus with your mouth you have boasted against me and have multiplied your words against me. I have heard them. Thus saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, when the whole earth rejoiceth, I will make thee desolate. As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all out in all Idumia, even all of it, and they shall know that I am Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know, um, I'm going to get Ezekiel the 36th chapter as well. Also thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel. This is Ezekiel 36 and 1. Also that also thou son of man, prophesy unto the mountains of Israel, and say, Ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Thus saith Yahweh power, because the enemy have said against you, Aha! Even the ancient high places are ours in possession. You know. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, the Yahweh power, because thou they have made you thus saith Yahweh power, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that ye might be a possession unto the residue of the heathen, and ye are taken up in the lips of talkers, and are the infamy of the people. Therefore, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh power. Thus saith Yahweh power to the mountains, and to the hills, to the rivers, and to the valleys, to the desolate waste, and to the cities that are forsaken, which became a prey and derision to the residue of the heathen that are round about. Because not only those Amalekites, you got them, uh, them East Indians and them Arabs fighting over that land, fighting, fighting Amalek over that land. That land don't belong to none of y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, it says, uh, this is verse 5. Therefore saith, Thus saith Yahweh Power, surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen and against all Idumia, which have appointed my land into their possession with the joy of all their heart, with despiteful minds to cast it out for a prey. You know, uh, 
So hey man, our land is being fought over by them fucking heathens who ain't got it, ain't got nothing to do with our land, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is against y'all and he gonna do according to his will against y'all, man. And y'all gonna get that recompense for 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 you know uh appointing the land that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the land of Yasha Arla, into y'all possession. Cause like the scriptures say, man, um if I choose not the O Jerusalem, you know, uh, what the scriptures say, shall my right hand forget her cunning. You know what I'm saying? If I prefer not Jerusalem above over, above my chief joy, I'm going to try and get that. I can roughly paraphrase in that scripture, Salakia. The scriptures say, actually, if I forget the old Jerusalem, may my right hand forget her cunning. You know? Salaki, I'm going to try and pull it up right now, man. This, this is Psalms 137 and 5 And it says And it says uh, Psalms 137 and 5 If I forget thee, O Jerusalem Let my right hand forget her cunning Psalms 137 and 6 If I do not Remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth If I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy So the Heavenly Father prefers Jerusalem over his chief joy And he's gonna give it back to us for possession You know what I'm saying? And I got that We're gonna get our land back from you fucking devils, man This is Isaiah 14 and 1 So though we are men without a country for right now We're gonna get our country back through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man the land of Yasha Arla. This is Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the stranger shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So you fucking Edomites, you goddamn so-called white people are going into slavery, man. And you are, you other nations as well, man. You know, because they tried to cut us off from being a nation pursuant to Psalms, the 83rd chapter. You know. I got a couple of more scriptures, Aki, and then I'm going to close it out. Because to be a nation, uh, that when you go into that definition of nation, which I'm going to pull it up right now through the spirit, man. No, we're not a nation. We're not considered a nation right now. You had that goddamn, that nigga, T.I., saying how we gonna, how we going to look for reparations, and we ain't even a nation right now. You know what I'm saying? You know? And, and I agree with him on that. You know, we not. We don't have a, a country. We don't have, um, you know, we don't have the things that makes you a nation. A nation. This is the definition of nation. A large body of people united by common descent. History, culture, or language. And that's the 12 tribes. From Judah on down to Issachar. From the southern kingdom to the northern kingdom, man. Or from the northern kingdom to the southern kingdom. Whatever you want to say. We all so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We share a common descent. We are the nation of Yasha Arla, man. It says a large body of people united by common descent, history, culture, or language inhabiting a particular country or territory. We don't have our country. We don't have our territory, man. So we not looked at as a nation right now. We men like like this like the, the, the lesson, man. We men without a country right now. You know, but I got uh Hebrews eleven and fourteen. Cause we don't have a citizenship over here. We're not citizens of this place. We still consider slaves, man. According to Esau's law. If you really want to get technical about it, you know what I'm saying? We were never considered a per what they consider Jake two thirds of a person. You know, so we're not even citizens of this place, man. That's why we don't get no respect, you know, when it comes to uh the law set in place here, man. You know what I'm saying? We not 
guilty. We're not uh, guilty. We're not uh, innocent until proven guilty. We guilty until proven innocent right on here, man. No, this is Hebrews. Uh, uh, this is Hebrews 11 and 14. For they that say, say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. But now they desire a better country that is in heavenly. Wherefore, Yahweh by Shem is not ashamed to be called their power, for he hath prepared for them a city. You know, and what's that city? That's the kingdom of heaven that's to come, man. New Jerusalem. You know what I'm saying? Which that's going to be the elect, you know. We're going to get everything that we lost, we're going to get it back. You know, and, and I believe that's in Joel, Joel the second chapter. The Lord going to restore that. He's going to restore everything that was lost back unto us, man. I got uh, a couple of more scriptures. I can then, I can, then I'm going to close it out. This is Hebrews 13 and 14. For we have no continuing city, but we seek for one to come. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we men without a country, man. You know? And I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to get uh, Philippians 3 and 20 as well. And then I want to go into that word for uh, for conversation. You know, Abarathazah. Bear with me, Aki and Baba Kasha, because I'm going to try and go ahead and uh, pull that up in a blue letter. read the verse, then I'm going to get that word for conversation. You know? So, uh, like I said, I can't bear with you, Bob Pashaw, I'm pulling the page up right now. I'm pulling that blue letter Bible up, man. Going, got to go into these words, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to get a full understanding of these scriptures. You can't read these scriptures for face value. You have to go into the Word, man. You know? This is Philippians 3 and 20. For our conversation is in heaven. That's why the scripture said in, in, in Hebrews 11 and um, Hebrews 11 and 14, we desire 15, we desire a, a better country that is in heavenly, man. Our conversation is in, for our conversation is in heaven. The elects the elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, who he's dealing with right now, the hopeful elect. Hey, man, our, we know our conversation is in heaven. We looking for the kingdom of heaven, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, this Philippians 3 and 20 again. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahushua, Hamashiach, man. We waiting on Yahweh Shah to come back, man, and restore all things, man, because that's what the Lord is gonna do, man. You know, uh Salaki Akim, I was trying to get that word for conversation, I mean that that uh definition for conversation. And uh the word for it is politiuma. And the, and the definition for it is the strong concordance definition of it is community, citizenship. You know, so our citizenship is in heaven, man. You got Jake still trying to fight for their civil rights over here in this fucking place. These goddamn devils ain't gonna never give you no rights, man. They, you ain't a citizen of this place, man. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart for this is not your arrest. Our rest is, is, is going to come when the kingdom of heaven is established here on earth, man. Through Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shai, his elect. You know? So, um, that was all I had, Akim. You know, I'm going to close this lesson out. You know, all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Again, double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Until you brothers is on the highways and the byways, pushing this word into in truth and sincerity to you, I say Shalom. Until next time, Shalom.